Hey, what's up everybody? Luke here. Welcome back to Magic 2015 Duels of the Planeswalkers. Let's go ahead and continue our campaign. We were in Innistrad. Just cutting right through Innistrad. Not, not too challenging yet. Feast of Flesh. He's a sexy vixen. And I'm just gonna assume that that's just Kool-Aid, not really blood. She, she wouldn't drink your blood, right? No, never. Where do I get one of those dresses? I need to buy Nicole a new dress. That is spectacular. You come across another of Garrick's victims. The strange garb identifies the corpse as a planeswalker. Feral vampires have claimed the remains for their meal. And you are the second course. We're dessert. We don't want to be dessert. Well, uh, maybe, I don't know. I could be convinced. Oh, Feast of Flesh plays first. We only have two planes. That doesn't look very good. Let's draw a new hand. Okay, that's more promising. Let's go ahead and keep it. So we got plenty of, plenty of land. A few different cards to play around with. There's an angelic edict. That might come in handy later. Let's put a swamp out. What should we do first? I think we're gonna have to put out this. Maybe this child of night, or maybe this lone missionary. Let's do the child of night, because it has a. Uh, it's got a lifelink, and. If it can get some hits in, start gaining us some life. That would be nice. So how you guys doing? You enjoying the Magic series so far? I'm loving it. I love playing Magic. I'm glad to be back doing videos and playing games. It's nice. There's a Blood Flow Connoisseur. I have plenty of those. What are you going to do? I'll just counter you with another one. Well, let's see. Now, we could make her sacrifice that and gain life to... Or we could trade off... Hmm, tough decision. Because I'd like... Let's go ahead and... Ah, that's such a... Such a small creature to be doing that on. I don't know. I think we should probably keep that. Maybe for something bigger. Why don't we go ahead and just see if she wants to trade. Well, at least gain the two health. So we're going to trade. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Because that thing could cause some problems later. Why don't we put the... The 2-2 walking corpse out there. So like I was saying, it's good to be playing games. Have a little free time to do this. My summer class did start. Summer session is in full swing. But it's a three-week class that we kind of get to go at our own pace. So that's nice. What do we got? Falcon Wrath Noble. A flying vampire that's 2-2. Two, two. Whenever he or another creature dies, target player loses one life and you gain one life. So that's... That sucks. We should probably make that the one that's going to get sacrificed. Because... I don't want to deal with that guy. He's going to keep, uh... Plinking us for health every time. So let's, let's go ahead and do it. Because... Let's make him sacrifice that. We'll gain some life. Did we lose a life? Was that what? Oh, I see what happened. We gained two life, then his trigger... His trigger did happen because the... The... Lose a life, gain a life trigger. Now what do we got? We got another one. Great. Fantastic. Well, maybe... Maybe we want to edict that one. I don't know. Hmm... Ah, it just seems like such a waste to exile that. Let's see if he wants to trade. She. Let's see if she wants to trade. Or he, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's under that dress, so. Let's just not go there. Well, that's, um... I really don't want to trade the Assault Griffin off with him, so... But I think it's going to prevent a... Prevent the attack. Let's put the griffin out. 
This isn't going to do us too much good with Intimidate and a black creature out there. Hmm, should we trade? Should we trade? We swing back for three, but I feel like something might happen here. I'm willing to take two damage at the risk that another blocker comes in to block this angel, this uh, griffin. Blood Craze Neonate attacks each turn if able. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one one counter on it. That could be trouble. But we got some things that could take care of that. Okay, we got the Cruel Sadist. Can't do anything when it has summoning sickness. But we could pay life, put a counter on it, remove counters to deal damage. Pretty handy. We might want to get that out there. But I think what we're going to do... Let's go ahead and attack with this griffin. I'd like to keep this back just just for that craze neonate. I'm going to go ahead and put out Uh, let's do the accursed spirit and the cruel sadist. Ah, uh, tapped my mana out wrong. Why did you do that? Me I don't know why it did that, because I wanted... I should have played the Cruel Status first. That was my bad. That was my bad. Let's go ahead and block with our zombie. Thanks, game. I don't even know if it was giving me an option down here to switch up the order of mana that's being tapped, but I didn't, I didn't check. Let's see. Barony Vampire. Poor little sun dweller. Out past curfew, and to think you might have survived if it wasn't so close to supper time. Wow, she can turn me into a vampire any day. Alright, what do we got now? We got 1-4 uh, with Vigilance. Could take care of that. And let's go ahead and it's got Intimidate. We could trade off with that. We got plenty of mana to cast both of these things in. So I think we'll just go ahead. Swing away. We got this lone missionary that's going to gain us four life. I know this guy's been kind of causing us to... Some life to trade back and forth. And that's been a pain, but. Fifteen, fifteen, all evened up. We got to get rid of that thing. That is just, just making this, this game drag out. I should have just edicted that a long time ago. I don't know why I didn't, but I felt like something bigger and badder would come in. And maybe it will. Maybe it still will. I could be proved wrong here. We're doing okay though. We're doing just fine. But that has been quite a swing this game. Stormkirk Patrol, whenever it deals combat damage, put a counter on it. 4 3. Alright, well, we got another missionary that's gonna gain us for life. I'm thinking let's go ahead and just edict this. Let's get rid of this. I've had enough of that. It's kind of making our combat worthless. And uh, let's see. What do we want to do that'll take care of that? We could we can block with both of these actually and take care of it. We'll lose one of them. We'll make it up to make it her decision. Let's hit her for three. Oh, did you guys hear that? The firework just went off outside. I don't know if you could hear that. Big old artillery shell is sounded like kind of shook my room. My neighbors across the way fire off fireworks all the time, like year round. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it drives the dogs crazy, but it drives our our other neighbors crazy. I don't know if you know the story behind that. They've 
They've liked to call the cops on us in past years for having fun on the 4th and... Uh, whatever we can do to, to bug the heck out of them, I'm okay with it. Uh, <laughs> so they put out a blood... Uh, blood flow connoisseur. I think let's go ahead and... I'm go ahead and swing with this griffin again. And then we'll put out the attendant knight and the lone missionary. Gain more life. Gain a lot more creatures. Seventeen to nine. We're looking good. We got a lot more creatures than she does. And I'm not too worried about the couple that she has, so. It's up to seven mana though, something big could come. Change the tide of this whole thing. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Only one, though. Deals four damage to target creature or player, and you gain four life. She is about to become breakfast or dinner or lunch. I'm not sure. It's not always gold the thief is after. Sometimes it's blood or succulent necks of ladies who are sleeping. Let's see. Who's it going to be? Oh, it's the, the griffin was the feast. That's too bad. Well, we'll be able to put both of those out this turn. Now let's see. Let's see what can happen here. If we threw these guys at her right now, that would just just be a bad idea. Uh, let's not make that mistake. Let's play the, the that one first, and then let's get the blood flow connoisseur out here. We can thankfully start sacrificing and making it bigger and. We'll wait, we'll wait to see what happens. Not attacking? What do we got? Another barony vampire. Oh, excellent. Enchant creature, target creature gets minus two, minus two. Now, the question is, which one do we want to throw this on? We can throw it on this one, we could make it a two, one. And the dogs are going crazy because they're, they're still lighting fireworks off over there. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but they're just going nuts running up and down the hallway barking. Okay, um... And we could kill this one off outright. We could attack and we could sacrifice some creatures. I think we're going to go ahead and tap for one and uh, put a counter on that. We might as well start that going. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Ah, well. I mean, that three life on this one's, or the three three toughness on this is kind of becoming a problem because it's hard to get rid of. This way, we can we can trade off some creatures fairly nicely. Um, I go ahead and attack with this actually, and and maybe this, and uh, Let's go ahead and attack with these two and we'll see how she sets up blocking and we might be able to sacrifice some creatures to pump this up and uh, hopefully make it survive trade off some creatures let's do it let's 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 live a little let's shake things up okay so she's gonna block all this one with all three um, it's got or is, it, is she just oh she, okay she's doing two um, either way, our creature's gonna die. So, let's go ahead and take out this barony vampire. With the first strike damage. Um, let me look at this. I think since she didn't block this one, I might, s I might go ahead and sacrifice this token down here. Give it another counter, do a little bit more damage. I could sacrifice these two too, but... The way these blockers are going away and we're, we're exchanging some creatures, these might come in handy. So we do two damage. We lose a creature, but we kill one of hers. We have plenty of blockers left. Especially this guy can take care of all of them. We could actually just start removing counters from this and take care of creatures. If we want. 
Feasted on the Fallen. At the beginning of each upkeep, if your opponent has lost a life last turn, put a plus one one counter on target creature you control. That could be trouble, but thankfully, thankfully we got rid of that flyer because that would have been devastating. Um, just devastating. <laughs> if it would have kept hitting us for one damage and no. Uh, all right. They would have been counters all over the place. Hmm, so what we could do here... Let's see. This is nice. This has Vigilance. Now we can probably attack with that. Um, we're going to go ahead... Attack with this one, this one, this one, and this one. We have our instant, we have all our tricks. This can remove a counter and, and kill one of his blockers, or her blockers. We can sacrifice one of these if we need to to save this. Okay, so, what do we got here? We're gonna trade two creatures. Mm. I'd say we're gonna have to to hit this one with our Cruel Sadist. Kill it. Um, oh, yes. Okay, so we can pay for it different ways. It doesn't really matter at this point, does it? No, it doesn't matter. So we'll get rid of that. We'll trade these two. Oh, he sac she, she sacrificed it to put a counter on this. But it's not going to matter because... This is a 2-1. Still gonna die. And we save our creature. It doesn't do damage because it was technically still blocked. And, uh... We're looking good. We got a 20-8 to eight now. I think we're gonna win this one. We got... We can deal with anything. That's not gonna do any good. You don't have any creatures. You can't do any damage. And it looks like that is going to be it. Probably for her. Go ahead and attack with everything. It's only six damage, but we're getting so much closer. Tickle, 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 tickle. Oh, your face just sliced her neck right off. Yeah, we'll just move on. Vampiric Feast. Oh, no. Okay. She's going to deal four damage to target creature or player, and then she'll gain four life. Which one's it going to be? It's going to be that one. I can't sacrifice it. I could kill it, and she wouldn't gain life. So, let's do that because she wasted all her mana doing that. We're taking advantage of the stack. We're going to kill that creature. Now there's not a creature to deal damage to. No life gain happens. She's tapped out, can't do anything, next turn we win. That is an effective way of using the stack, using those instants. You like that? You guys like that? That was pretty awesome. Kill our own creature. Don't see that too often. Slice and dice! And some tickling. Ooh, tickle. And one last slice to the boobs. Kinda looked like I sliced your boobs right off. All right. Woo! Good times. We decimated her. It was a long, hard-fought battle. We had to use some neat tricks there at the end to, to make that one win. To make that, uh, make that go our way. Oh, I need to stretch. That was a long one. All right, we got another booster. Let's see what we get. The Elder of Laurels. Target creature you... Target creature gets plus X plus X until the end of turn where X is the number of creatures you control. That is amazing. That's an amazing card. Sanguine Bond. I hope I'm saying that right. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. That is pretty crazy for our deck. And then Mentor of the Meek, whenever it's our, another creature with power of two or less enters the battlefield under control, you may pay one colorless mana, and if you do, draw a card. Love this guy too. Um, and, and that that ties in really well with all our low cost creatures and all our token creations, so we might have to get that guy in there. 
Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's call this one good. I'm not going to go in and edit our deck right now. Maybe I will. I will look at that and uh, report to Avasin. Uh oh. Looks like we're gonna we're gonna take on the last part of Innistrad next time around. We're not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna take a look at the deck and see what maybe we could hash out, and uh, then we'll continue with our campaign next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm having a lot of fun playing it. I love Magic, and uh, I hope you guys are, are are enjoying the card game, the card gaming. I know maybe it's not as exciting as some first-person shooters or or, or maybe some story-driven. RPGs or something, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I, it's something that just uh, it's a lot of fun to play for me, and I, you know, I mean, there's there's some fun things that happen. There's some there's some slicing of the faces and and some you know some hot vampire girls. Well, again, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. I'll take a look at the deck and see what we can do with our with our new cards we got, and we'll continue this one next time.